Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we're taking a look at the Afterglow Wiimote from PDP. And before we get started, I would like to thank Game Traders E-Town for loaning me this item for reviewing purposes. If you're interested in purchasing it, I will include a link in the description to their Facebook page so you can contact them about that. And this is a pretty standard third-party Wiimote. Or is it? We'll see. But the first thing I think everyone will notice is the fact that it is clear, opaque, translucent. You can see inside of it. And that's really cool. If you thought the idea of clear plastic on Nintendo controllers was dead in the 90s, you were wrong. But I think it's cool. I like seeing all the little doodads and diodes and stuff, but maybe that's just me. But it does a lot more than just being see-through as far as interesting qualities. This actually has some cool button placement as well, and unfortunately some not-so-cool button placement. For on the not-so-cool side, just to get out of the way, we have the 1 and 2 buttons over here, and they're kind of weirdly spaced. They're diagonal because reasons, and usually when you're playing, you're playing it like, like this. And you'd put your thumb on the 1, which would be the fire or the run button, and you would toggle your thumb over to press the 2. But with the 2 being a little higher, it's kind of awkward. Like, you can play it just like this, but there's a lot of games that require that whole thumb toggle, and it makes it weird for them. But it does some things right. As you can see, on an original Wiimote, the home button and the plus and minus button would be here around the center. And in this one, they actually moved them over to the left. The plus and minus are here and here and then the home is on the top left. And that's good because if you're holding it like this, you actually have easier access to the plus and minus and home you can, instead of just reaching way across to the middle with either thumb. So I like that. I also like the fact that those buttons are slightly depressed into the controller so you can't just accidentally press them during gameplay. You have to make a deliberate action to press these down. And sometimes that can be a little irritating, but it helps to prevent you from accidentally pressing the home button in the middle of an intense gameplay session, so it's more good than bad as far as that goes. On the back, it's pretty standard stuff, it's just the same trigger as always. And that's all there is to the Afterglow controller. I'm lying. As you might guess, the glow in Afterglow stands for the fact that this thing can light up. And I think I'm going to show you that. So prepare your eyes for the dark, I'm going to edit into a nice dark scene where we can show off the lights on this thing. Ready, set, glow. There it is, lit up like the Las Vegas Strip. I feel like I'm at a rave with the silly thing. But as you can see, there are five lights on it. One, two, three, four, five. And there are an additional three down here for when the controller is not synced. If you turn it around, the batteries in this actually are really awkward to look at. It really disrupts the whole aesthetic because there's just this big black spot where the batteries are blocking off the lights. So it's kind of weird, but whatever. And that's it. And I can safely say that I think that this is more marketed towards children because as an adult playing the Wii, I, don't, I just don't really care that this lights up. I'm not saying it's bad. It looks, It does look cool. It looks as cool as I assume it's supposed to, but... For me, the button placement for this is actually a lot more interesting than the fact that it has a few LED lights in it, but hey, if you've got some kids and you think that this would be up their alley, I would say check it out, but otherwise, really not too much of a reason to get this over a regular Wiimote. And as I said before, thank you to Game Traders for letting me use this for review purposes, and as always, later days.